Hey friends, welcome to Megtober episodes 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. I know you've all been missing me in these videos, uh, but I have been working on a big project that uh, was on a deadline and couldn't fit in one uh, Megtober, so I decided to record it and uh, do it over multiple episodes. The project I'm working on is a sign for Jennifer Coppola's uh, photography studio, which uh, just opened up this past weekend. As you can see, it is going to be a round sign. So what I've done is I've made a jig for the router that will allow me to cut a perfect circle out of a misshapen piece of wood. And so I'm just going around and around, uh, cutting a little bit deeper each time. Now I'm putting a whitewash on, which uh, lets the grain show through, but is really this beautiful sort of rustic and modern look. And now I'm applying some Mod Podge in order to do a transfer for uh, the word photography here. Here you can see me applying uh, Jennifer's logo onto uh, some uh, masking tape and then I'm tracing out all the letters with an exacto knife and the plan is to peel back all the letters to uh, open up to the wood beneath and then I will be able to uh, paint over that and it'll sort of form a stencil and so then I can get the gold paint on there uh, for her logo and it'll be really nice and accurate. This process of tracing all the letters uh, definitely was time consuming and involved some patience and focus. Uh, but then we get to the gold paint and I put a, about four coats of this on to get a really nice and rich gold color. Now you'll see me peeling back the masking tape and I'm having to carefully use the X-Acto knife to trace around all the letters again to cut the paint so that it doesn't peel up uh, the letters and doesn't leave um, extra bits of paint behind. And again, this was uh, quite the process, took a couple hours to do this, but I was really happy with the result. I think it came out really sharp. I actually developed a pretty good X-Acto knife blister from this whole process, which I didn't think was a thing that was possible. But anyway, uh, that's part of the fun, right? Now I'm moving on to the photography um, transfer. And so I just washed the paper off using some microfiber cloth and some water and then rubbing the excess off with my fingers in the end. Um, a little bit of the ink came off in the process of this and actually I think it adds a really nice rustic look. Now I'm moving on to the metalwork part of the project, which was a lot of fun. And so what I'm doing here is I'm bending the steel uh, in my vise and I'm going back and forth between the template that I drew on the workbench in order to line up the steel. And then I'm going back to the um, uh, vise to shape it a little bit more and then coming back to the line and then going back to the vise and uh, back and forth and back and forth until eventually I was satisfied with uh, the shape of the steel here. There was also a fair bit of cutting and grinding and fitting uh, to get all the parts to fit together nicely which I ended up actually not getting on film unfortunately. But you'll see these parts in action here as I do the weld up. I'm not a great welder, but I have a ton of fun doing it and I'm learning every time I do some welding. Um, and so I had to weld all the sides and grind down all the welds to make it look nice and clean and sharp. And then I painted the whole thing, which I also didn't show on film. So here we are on the day of the opening doing the big install. The paint hadn't 100% set yet and so we put up paper on the house so that we wouldn't get little bits of black paint everywhere. First we went ahead and just hung the sign and then we clamped the sign into place and affixed it with screws and adjusted the fit as we went. I want to say a special thank you to my wife Alexis for helping me with the install and also for putting up with uh, the gong show that this project ended up being in the last couple days as I finished it up. Here of course is the finished project, which I have to say I am quite proud of. I also want to thank Jennifer Coppola for hiring me to make these signs for her. I wish you all the best, Jennifer, in your uh, new venture. If you enjoyed this video, it would really help me out if you liked it and or shared it with your friends. As always, thanks for watching.